Hi! Thanks for tuning in to my official YouTube channel. Please make sure to like my official YouTube video, this one as well as others. Make sure to subscribe to my official YouTube channel and go to my website www.susanmeling.com. So I'm going to go into a, a few different categories if you have seen and listen to my prior official YouTube channel videos, you kind of have a bit of an understanding as far as how that goes. <laughs> and if not, welcome. Hi. <laughs> You'll learn. So um, my website has a few examples as far as different work that I have been doing in regards of, and, and I tend to keep myself busy. By the way, it might be a smidgen satirical, just as a forewarning. So, I've worked on a lot of stuff. I've created a few pieces of artwork, a few pieces. Um, worked on a few journal blogs and writing. Uh, I've done a little bit of modeling. There, There is that. There's a couple modeling pictures. Been a mom since officially I gave birth in 2001 and 2002. However, I've had a lot of people who have said that I sound like a mom when I was a child and teenager and stuff like that. And, um, and then of course, as a biological adult, having been in that capacity. So I have been involved with what is supposed to be considered the adult consenting lifestyle officially for a while. And obviously I did what I could to make sure my son and my daughter as minors were not a part of it because of being honest in that capacity and doing what I could to keep them safe. Now, there are the additional factors of, as biological adults know how you have a child, <laughs> how procreation goes, um, although yes, there are the IVF treatments now, though that does get into this particular official YouTube channel video. So I have had, <laughs> I've been around a lot. I haven't actually had much experience, though I have an extremely <laughs> odd thought process. And after my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, and with that subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain <laughs> that took eight and a half years to dissipate while dealing with migraines randomly, but headaches all the time, and then memory deficits and cognitive disorders, I've also additionally always kind of picked up on energy. And I can't help that part. That energetic situation, it's one of those, it just happens. And so I, I, I don't I think I don't know if it's clairsentience or clair sustenance or clairvoyance or whatever the word is. I know there's a few of them. And um When it comes to what is supposed to be the adult consenting lifestyle, I've seen a few things, literally. <laughs> I've seen a few situations, literally. So when I woke up from my coma after my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, I was in medical hold unit after a while. And in medical hold unit, a group of guys were talking about going to Mexico. And I was like, well, why are you gonna go to Mexico? Mind you, I'm 17 years old. I've only been awake from a coma for however many weeks, maybe. <laughs> and they had told me that there was this show that I did not believe. I became a believer. <laughs> I did not believe that this stuff occurred. I learned to not question 
when it came to certain things. So after this particular trip that I went on, because I wanted to, I wanted the proof. I wanted to see it. So I saw it and I cannot unsee it. <laughs> So it was as it was. So then one of the guys in medical hold unit who ironically, I had argued with him about listening to Eminem on the radio. <laughs> and he had invited me to his barracks room because he was talking about a movie and stuff like that. And it was whatever. And he's like, oh, this is what porn is. And so he put the VHS in. And so we sat on the bed and I watched it and it was one of those. So I know about these movie critiquers, okay? <laughs> Remember, I was born and raised in New Jersey. <laughs> in the 1980s and 1990s. <laughs> Grew up going to the New York City area. <laughs> Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, different areas of Pennsylvania, New York State. I've seen a few things. <clears throat> and so, <laughs> he puts the VHS in and I, okay, let me backtrack. When I was in high school, a bunch of people I knew were like, let's go see Titanic. And it's like, why? You know what's going to happen. <laughs> you know how that's going to, it's kind of based on history. <laughs> it's kind of a thing. <laughs> so in comparison, and, and there's a few movies where I did this in, where it was like, well, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. This because they just, you're spoiling the movie. <laughs> not my fault. I don't know how you didn't know that the boat was going to do that. I don't know. <laughs> because some of the people I went with actually were, <gasps> and it's like, how did you not know the boat was going to do that? It's kind of the history. Okay. So they did as they did was what it, as it was. Fast forward to 2000. Well, what is porn? <laughs> I don't know what this is. Okay, you caught my attention. What is this? <laughs> what does it do? Because <laughs> remember, I wasn't allowed to see anything above a G-rated movie until I was 13. It wasn't until after I was 13 that I was allowed to see a PG-13 movie. So well, what is this? What is, what is, what is that? I've seen all sorts of stuff in person, face to face in person. So why would I know what that type of a movie is? Oh, okay. So he puts it in and first, you know, this, there's this office area. Well, my biological mother <laughs> worked at Prudential. <laughs> That is not a real office. <laughs> Marksbury looks at me and goes, what? And I'm like, that is not a genuine office if an office. <laughs> if an office was that, where are the other people? Where is this? Where is this? Where is this? Where is this? There's not even this. What type of carpeting is that? What is this? And he's just, um, um, it's, it, we're supposed to watch a point. No, no. What is that garbage? That is not an office. I don't believe that that is an office. And he was, but it's, there's, there's, no, 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 let's see where this goes. That's fine. I'll see where this goes. I'll see where this, that, that's fine. I'll take a look at it. Fine. Let's see what this is. What type of, you know what, that wouldn't be in an office either. What type of plant is that? No, 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 no. If it was a real office, because remember, I got my babysitter's husband who works as security director and director of security in the World Trade Center and the World Trade Center Plaza. No, 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 no. They won't put that type of a plant up in there. No, no, no. They'd have real silk up in there. No, if they didn't have a real plant, that's not office. Psh. 
type of garbage is this? You call this a movie? What is this? <laughs> and the guy is just like, uh, I, I, I can't believe we're really going to go into this. No, 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 no. And what type of a desk is that? They call that a desk in an office? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. That's not a desk. That's just, that's, that's, what type of table is that? And that's a computer for an office? Again, my biological mother worked at Prudential. I know what desks look at as I know what offices is. <laughs> and I, I can look back now, the 29th of April in 2022. <laughs> I can acknowledge, <clears throat> maybe that wasn't the intent. <laughs> It only took me this amount of time to figure this out. <laughs> it's okay though, because back then, I see, I can make fun of things. I can make fun of myself. I can make fun of experiences, and this is an experience. What is that? You, what, so they're just gonna have that type of a board right there? No, I don't think so. That's not how offices are. Not even in the meeting area. What type of chair is that? You could, you know what? No, 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 no. And so he is just like, this is not how I envisioned this going. <laughs> Which the irony, I look over at him, I'm like, I guarantee you, you are not the only person who will ever say that about me. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Possibly this official YouTube video lecture might be a starting point for that example. <laughs> and so I'm just, no, 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 no. What, what is, and so then this female walks in. What is she wearing? And the guy is like, she's, she's, pretty, no, 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 it's got a storyline. Okay, now let's see what this storyline is with this female walking in, in something that obviously would not be tolerated in a real office. No, go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, 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 because in a real office, a female walks in like that and she'd be shown the door. Uh-uh, no. I know where that type of an outfit sort of, mm-hmm, I don't think so. No, that's not an office. Uh-uh, no, 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 I know where that sort of type of clothes are worn at, and it is not at an office. <laughs> it's a different type of office for those, th no, that's not acceptable. What is that? And the guy was just like, can you just watch it? I am. I am watching whatever you consider as what this is a movie. And the guy, he's sitting there, he's like, this is not going the way I thought it was going to go. Probably not, but it is what it is. I want to see what's going on. Let's see what happens. And then <laughs> after a few more, few more pointers, such as there was a phone, but it wasn't plugged in. There was a computer, but it was not plugged in and obviously not turned on, <laughs> which I can say, nor was that female. And so <laughs> they had all this other whatever in the backdrop and it's like, mm-hmm, uh-uh, I'll believe you. I'll believe this is, do you consider this worthwhile to watch? And so in my thoughts, <laughs> For those who remember, I don't know if it was Sesame Street or Sesame Place, the guys that would sit in the in the balcony area <clears throat> would just kind of argue back and forth. <laughs> what type of movie is this? You call this a production? <laughs> and so this is what I'm doing to this first time ever seeing porn, and it's like, she rolled her eyes. She, this female, she literally while bouncing. Excuse me. She is not enjoying herself. And the guy was like, what would make you think that? 
rewind that <laughs> and take a look at that. And so he did, and we did the frame by frame, and he goes, I don't understand how you, if, I'm gonna let you know. You ever see a female do that whenever, as far as whatever, understand and comprehend? She's not enjoying herself. That guy didn't know what to say. <laughs> I don't care. Mm-mm, no. Mm-mm, I'm gonna tell like it is, and she is not enjoying herself. The irony, nor is that male. That male isn't enjoying himself, because he's like, mm, and that's not how that goes. Mm-mm, no, no, no. <laughs> Go on this whole tirade. So the, the, the porn was like, maybe, maybe, maybe an hour and then there was me <laughs> for five and a half hours <laughs> it took to watch the whatever and, and this is wrong this is why does that do that and <laughs> the next day in the office at medical hold unit. <laughs> I walk in and I'm just, sup guys. And <laughs> some of the males that were sitting in the in the desk or the the, um, <laughs> the actual office area in comparison. <laughs> They're sitting in the chairs off to the side of the go, hey. Mm-hmm. Whatever. And <laughs> Watson looks up and he's like, how you doing? Ah, fine, why don't you ask Marksbury about how bad of a movie he had picked out? And Watson turns around and looks at him and goes, well, what movie did you guys watch? He's like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about it, Watson. And he's like, no, 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 what type? And so then the males are like, yeah, no, what movie did you go see? We didn't go see a movie. We went to his room. He had some stupid thing he called a porn. I don't know. And the, all of them just silence. <laughs> there were literally people walking in the hallway. <laughs> You know, these officers, you know, they were going from one orderly room to another. So they're like, right about here, and I'm like, and that means it's a poor ending. What were you doing? Well, let me tell you, Captain, this is what happened, and then... <laughs> For some reason, every male that was in that office, which was everybody except for me, <laughs> their, head, their, their faces turned as red as my hair. And I went on and I let that kid, I let them both know. I was like, and this was wrong, and this was wrong, and this was wrong. Well, the female <laughs> of the two captains, really, is that what you've noticed? Whereas the male of the two captains was like, well, you know, sometimes, and der, 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 der. and the female captain's like, mm, well, you know, I mean, she kind of might be bringing up a valid point or two. You know, I mean, you know, what do you <laughs> The male captain's all, well, you know, sometimes you gotta just whatever, whatever, and you know, it is what it is. And <laughs> male soldiers along the wall are just Watson is just did you have to really tell them this I have to go home I have to, I have to take care of my sons and my daughter oh, oh you are 17 years old what are you doing <laughs> go blame Marksbury <laughs> I didn't know he had it. Mark's furries all, I just wanted to see the movie. I didn't think it did. You said it went out. And so this whole thing, <laughs> the, 
the female captains all, well, you know, sometimes there are points when, you know, certain situations aren't correctly taken care of, and then, you know, if they were actually done correctly, I mean, she might be bringing up a valid point if you really take certain things into consideration. The male captain's like, well, you know, I mean, sometimes it's just really a lot of work and there's some pressure and <laughs> stuff. You know, sometimes you got to take care, you know, and our thoughts go, whatever, and, you know, yeah, well, you know, sometimes it's like, mm-hmm, yeah, well, again, yeah, no. <laughs> A whopping maybe month from being awake from my coma. <laughs> or two, who knows? It, it was less than a month of being in medical hold unit, so that's, that's what I do remember. And so... <laughs> So, <laughs> I can make a sarcastic joke about, you know, say I was Aphrodite during an, <laughs> a photo shoot in <laughs> the year 2000, so, you know, I'm just stepping out of the ocean, you know, but I have to wear, you know, this because even though I'm a biological female, you know, sometimes it takes something, something to be capable to bring that stuff to light, you know, and talk about certain things in a more open way. You gotta, you gotta let it all kind of hang out, you know. So I guess I can get accustomed to wearing dresses ish here and there. You know, I guess if I have to, because sometimes, you know, being a biological female, and I know I'm not the only biological female who has this internal sense, and it's like, yeah, you know, I know you know, it's okay. You know, I can make a joke about the color at the bottom of my dress and just be like, that's fine, mm-hmm, that's right. I mean, whether you take that in reference to the water, however you take that reference, <laughs> Or, you know, whatever else is associated with blue, however, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> while I was in the army, I was all, mm -hmm, you males don't know, <laughs> you don't know what you are doing wrong. And the irony, Marksbury goes and says, I dare you to prove that you would actually, oh, oh, no, you want to what? You wanna, you want, you wanna, you wanna what? <laughs> you wanna throw down some salt on the ground? And just, <laughs> no, that's fine. Mr. You don't even know that's not an office. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Thinking that that's a, what is it, a movie? You call that a movie. Huh. I don't know about that. I wouldn't call that a movie. That's not a movie. Mm -hmm. No. So, you know, <laughs> I authored a few books. You know, because over these years, I had noticed certain things. I had been to a lot of events. And so, having seen this so called movie, you know, I've been to a lot of events, and people I heard had said, that they enjoyed themselves. Hmm. Really? You enjoyed yourself? Huh. Hmm. What do you consider enjoyment? <laughs> And so the males usually were fairly similar to the captain. Well, you know, totally laid that down and did whatever as far as that's concerned. And the females were similar to the female captain of, mm -hmm, well, you know, mm -hmm, yeah. You know, it's, you know it's, it was, it was as it was. Yeah, I mean, there was, there was yeah, I mean, you know, the, just kind of stood there. You consider that enjoyment, do you? Huh. I don't believe that you consider that enjoyment. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I mean, 
mean, you know, if you can, if if you consider that enjoyment, well, I don't know why you would. <laughs> And so, in, in my thoughts, it's one of those, well, you know, um, seeing how um, you're both standing, well, there's, there's a starting point. <laughs> and so, I had asked in a few situations in various areas, uh, how, many, how many hours ago did you whatever, and well, it wasn't even an hour ago, and it's, huh, so let me, let me do this arithmetic in my thoughts. Both of you are standing, capable to enunciate words. <laughs> you as a male are not only capable to enunciate words, though also formulate sentences. Okay. And you as a female are walking comfortably less than an hour later and you don't have any exhaustion, <laughs> shortness of breath. <laughs> Your hair is in the same position as it was before. Um, hmm. I, and, you know, your hair is longer than my hair. And, um, hmm. Huh. Really, you consider that enjoyment. So my internal thought. I don't believe you enjoyed that worth a damn. <laughs> I don't believe you as a male knew what you were doing to actually take care of her so that way she, because your shirt is dry. So either one of two things, you took your shirt off and you weren't mm, and, mm, and your hair is still the same. So then I did ask, did you take a shower? No. Hmm. Hmm. You can, so you consider that a good time. enunciate words correctly as a male. Hmm. You can operate your fingertips to pick things up without dropping them. They don't slip out of your hands because you didn't take a shower, so you did that, did that. You can utilize your fingertips correctly. Hmm. I don't believe you did very well. <laughs> I don't believe, mm -mm, no, mm -mm. females, not horse or anything like that, mm. huh, clothes aren't all whatever, so they weren't on the floor very long as far as certain locations for those who know in the state of Texas area, mm. huh, Enjoyment, do you? Oh. I don't believe you. No, no. <laughs> so in my thoughts, why don't you tell me that you go scuba diving out on a boat and don't ever have to pee? Okay, yeah, no, I don't believe you. No. <laughs> So not only that, you as a male 
are capable to walk with one foot in front of the other in a straight line. <laughs> no buckling of the knees. <laughs> You're, you're just walking around, no problem, one foot in front of the other. There's not any um, issues breathing through your mouth or nose. Huh. Huh. Hmm. And you are, again, capable to enunciate words and formulate a coherent sentence. Huh. Huh, and you consider that enjoyable. Hmm. We must have different viewpoints of what enjoyable is, because if that's what you consider enjoyable, hmm. Nope, <laughs> you have no idea what enjoyable is. You know what? No wonder. Happy wife, happy life. And this is the situation as far as that supposed to be consenting adult lifestyle because, you know, if you could actually do what it would take to actually happy wife, happy life situation, you probably would be here. All right, then. Oh, that's fine. I am an unattached female. <laughs> I can go wherever I so choose and I can wear my outfits as I feel like wearing my outfits. I will dress as I choose to dress as per my sensations regarding, you know, what outfits I choose, whether I choose to wear whatever, 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 and you're just gonna, huh, and go and say it was great. Huh. Huh. Okay. Okay. So, for those who know about memes, I found this meme. <laughs> I thought it was the most perfect meme. I don't have a lot of experience. I've been to a lot of events. I've spent a lot of time talking with people and, you know, I do have two children that I gave birth to. So, you know, um, <laughs> this Mimi said you couldn't handle me even if I came with instructions. Hmm. So, um, I authored a fiction book series. <laughs> and <clears throat> after you know, some, um, some events where some females were, um, you know, walking <laughs> and talking. <laughs> and so were these males who were walking and talking. <laughs> tech on this, okay? And I don't mean in reference to vibrators, okay? Although, take in consideration that particular point in this part of my lecture regarding my official YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe to my official YouTube channel, like this video. Please do, if you're going to leave a comment, be respectful and have etiquette. Same thing for all of my other official YouTube videos. So for those who remember, uh, so, the, okay. For those who have studied Jungian philosophy, okay. If you take in consideration in the Jungian philosophy through technology, for those who remember rotary phones, Let's see how lazy some males have gotten now, shouldn't we? So, so these phones, these rotary phones, females, I know you know what I'm talking about. So these rotary phones, 
males that are being lazy. These rotary phones, for those who don't know, that are <laughs> younger, but these rotary phones, grown older males, you stick your finger in a hole and you swirl it around. So females, how lazy have some males gotten? Here's the vibrator. Mm -hmm. And so, uh -huh, and so, so there's the rotary phones and you know, you have to stick your finger in the hole and swirl it around and then let it go back. And so, you know, then technology, because you know, these individuals, sure, sure, it was because females couldn't dial a number. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's fine. So then it became those, those who remember the next type of phone, those heavy buttons, you had to actually have some muscle to push the button. For those who don't know, Go look at a lawnmower where the primer button is for that irony of irony. <laughs> and that primer button, nine times out of ten, is actually going to be less effort than it would be for those old button phones after the rotary phones. You can even take in consideration the Jungian view of the pay phone buttons, or you have to have some muscle to push the button because you, you know. So remember, because as many males have done stuff, mm -hmm. so, <laughs> but they say, what about females? So anyway, so then for those who remember how it went from the rotary phones and the button phones and stuff like that, then, in regards of even cordless phones, they had buttons and, you know, they had to push the button to actually, so you're going to go in this technology one, okay, so you had to actually push the button. But, you know, you couldn't push it too hard because, you know, can you know, <laughs> So then, so then these, you know, manly men, according to, you know, whatever. So then there's the original car phones and original cell phones. And similarly, you had to have some muscle to push these buttons. You would think as the time at that point in the 1980s and 1990s, you've got these remote control, except you know what? You don't use your thumbs, do you? Huh, female? You don't, you know, I'm fairly certain you know, you don't use your thumbs in certain references. And so then the irony is to how certain um, remote controllers had moved <laughs> in the direction of, so you got the vibration sequence and you got the little buttons on this side instead of ABC and the little whatever. And you know, if you go to the arcade, you have the joystick with the actual buttons and stuff like that, <laughs> you know, in that Jungian way, okay? Don't really use thumbs, huh? Because what happens if you use a thumb? Females, and you get mad, don't you? I know I do, because first and foremost, why are you being lazy at even trying that? Because why would I want that, you lazy? Because I know that. <laughs> That is not acceptable at all whatsoever. No, 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 no. Your mouth, you know, there's the COVID situation where you got to take a hint, you know, and it's not even a hint at that point when it comes to certain things. So then, so then, so then you have the, the, the cell phones where they went from the actual buttons that were the, the time frame after the rotary phone to the, you know, the push button one. So you have that as far as the cell phone. Well, you had two different types of phones that kind of really went from there. You had, if you look at the more current types of like wireless keyboards, where they have such thin little any bit, and you gotta be really soft with them because, you know, why would you actually do anything? You know, you gotta be soft. 
Then you have to have a sensitivity because, you know, if you hit it too hard, then the keyboard will have some problems. In comparison to what the keyboards of like old typewriters used to be, where it's like, ta, 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 ta. think about that in the Jungian sort of way. <laughs> but not with your thumbs, you notice? Like, it's even irony on both typewriters and keyboards. Where, what do you use for space? Meaning, keep that in mind in the Jungian capacity. Your thumbs keep that of uh, the space difference. <laughs> as far as the distance from certain areas where your mouth should be, as many males have said what they have said in those particular capacities. I know there have to be some females who know exactly what I'm talking about. Literally. Mm-hmm. Because it's not that it takes all that much for a male to, hmm, when you really think about it. Comparison. Happy wife, happy life. <clears throat> so, you know, you've got these keyboards and the typewriters and the differences. <laughs> you know what the difference between keyboards as far as the Jungian reference regarding your fingertips compared to, you know, a different tip? Regarding males, your fingertips keep working after a certain point in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just think about that. <laughs> you soft little baby. Mm -hmm. So, you know, then, the, the, then there were the Blackberries in comparison to like the MCI phones. The MCI phones were more like the thinner keyboardy ish. Where you know the the wireless keyboards now. The, that's what the MCI type of cell phones were. Where you know you didn't push the buttons too far because they just weren't thick enough. They didn't have that whatever. And so you know, with the BlackBerry, you had to you know, use the QWERTY keyboard in comparison, and you had to kind of, not the same degree as a phone, but it wasn't a typewriter. You still used your thumbs, which again, like what, what is wrong with you? <laughs> you know, you know that the keyboard and the typewriter had to be, you know, made by a female in that Jungian capacity because the keyboard in reference to the typewriter or, or, or the keyboard for a computer, you know, here it is males. You see where your thumbs have the space bar? Think about that in that Jungian capacity. In my... <laughs> you know it had to be a female who actually came up with that, you know, since you want to tell it, you know, this and this companion, you want to get, no, 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 that's fine. No, I'll just let you know what you should be doing the, the female captain and the male captain. No, 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 no. I'm just going to put the space bar right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That way you know that your thumbs <laughs> keep some space in that capacity. <laughs> you like video tips and go dancing. So... <laughs> This is a different, this is a modernized Kama Sutra, all right? <laughs> In a satirical way. And so, <laughs> oh, why are you being so lazy? Sort of. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I obviously know there is no one there. I am giving this as a satirical sort of, that's how that goes, common sense sort of thing. Anyway, you know, for those individuals who might not be capable to tell what satire is. So there's that. <coughs> so this lecture and that reference. So, you know, you got the little keyboard where the <laughs> differences and that Jungian capacity. So then what do you have now? The majority. Oh, a smartphone. Mm. Smart, huh? So remember, there is only when the screen pops up. 
and that there's no actual real physical buttons. It's all a program. And the irony of in that Jungian aspect where, you know, you, you, you type however you type. And the irony, though, here it is in that irony. Well, if for those who know how those old typewriters work, is, yeah, you don't use that thumb. We'll just lighten that touch. <laughs> we'll, go and, we'll, go, we'll go and get these cell phones like iPhones where, yeah, if you, if you, if you touch that space bar too much, you know, you, you can't do that because otherwise you crack the screen. You don't want to crack the screen, now do you? No, you want to take care of that kindly, but, but you still have to take care of it. I can, <clears throat> I can make a sarcastic comment. And so it's one of those, but then at the same time, it's like, you know, for as many males that have talked, you know, that version where, you know, oh yeah, it was so great. You're talking though. So again, I was born and raised in New Jersey. I don't even think I need to bring up the New York City or Pittsburgh or Philadelphia part regarding males in New Jersey. Maybe this is what, <laughs> because it's one of those, well, you're talking though. <laughs> so some of these males that I had known, whether they were in college or whatever, as far as high school, certain, but you're talking. And so some of the males were like, yeah, but you do, know, it's great. It's like, yeah, but you're, you're, you're talking. And so they didn't get this, right? And it's like, no, 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 your mouth is moving and you are capable to formulate words in a sentence where you can enunciate each of the syllables just saying. You should think about that. And they didn't get it. They get my reference, where it's like, I don't know how you're missing this. I don't know what's wrong with you. And so these males, and you know, they're just, oh, it was great, totally laid it down, it was awesome, yo, bro, it's awesome. And it's like, yeah, except, except, um, you know, you're, you're talking. <laughs> You, you, your, your, your mouth is moving mm -hmm, without any issues and you are capable to formulate a sentence with words that you can enunciate correctly in that capacity. Some of these males, what does that have to do with anything? Well. <laughs> Um, hmm, so now in 2022, some individuals have been accustomed to having a uh, mask over their face. Maybe that'll give you a Jungian hint as to where you know, certain references as far as where you start. And you know, so, <laughs> in comparison, because, you know, I sent my books without hiding to different, you know, whatever, like, yeah, okay, I authored this again as far as the bibliography factor and stuff like that. I cannot be the only female who has recognized this particular situation where it's like, excuse you, what do you think you are doing? <laughs> Why are you really, really, you think that's important? So, you know, um... I've been to a few supposed to be adult consenting lifestyle events and when walking around in certain locations, you know, uh, just as similarly as looking at that video and capable to distinguish certain factors, <laughs> I could easily distinguish audibly certain factors, because it was one of those, huh, huh, yeah, no, um, I know what that should sound as, if, uh, if, if, if that was being enjoyed correctly, I know how that should sound, you don't know what you're doing, nope. 
no, that's fine. You're gonna, you know, high five in the parking lot or whatever. All right. Now I'm gonna go do a walk. It's dead. You know, and so then the irony. <laughs> If whether in the state of Texas or other one, she's not doing anything. Yeah, because I've seen. I don't need to find out personally. I, I've seen. Mm -hmm. I've seen the before. Didn't need to see the during, but saw the after. That's okay. <laughs> I don't feel like wasting my time, and I'm not willing to give you a number. So I'm just going to go on my way. Because I could just have discussions with people instead. <laughs> because sure, 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 you could be, sure, sure. Or, um, I'm just not going to find out because I don't want to. Because, you know. That's fine, kind of, you know, and I'm a little particular. <laughs> and I have minimum requirements, and so I know for a fact, if I actually were to be in a relationship where it was at that level, uh, first and foremost, we, meaning he and I, would not be in the vicinity of in that capacity. We would talk with people, we would spend time with people, whatever, whatever. But what goes on between he and I would be what goes on between he and I. Because of how many I've already seen and heard as far as that competition in that capacity where it's like, so we're going to see in this area, you know, if I were to give a, <laughs> if I were to give a tour in that reference regarding, yeah, so over here in this area, you can hear this female trying to out fake an orgasm from that female trying to out fake an orgasm from that female who's trying to out fake an orgasm from that female who's trying to out fake an orgasm in comparison to just telling those different males to do it correctly. So over here, over here, over here, here's where this is, yes. And so you can see all of these males are walking around upright correctly with their feet one in front of the other and capable to speak, yes. Here are some females where they are standing around and capable to walk correctly in comparison to the enjoyment factor of whatever. Here they are over here. <laughs> this is why, you know, when it came to the few that I had dated, which is far and few between, I acknowledge that. I just enjoyed wearing my outfits. It's really what it was. I just enjoyed wearing my outfits and talking with people and having actual discussions. Because no matter where I went, because of how I physically look, especially during, you know, 2009 through 2012, I physically look as I did in the state of Texas. So I look as I do now and it's just, I've, I have standards. Thank you. And if my standards are not met, um, I also am not willing to deal with certain needless drama because of how that sort of stuff goes. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my own thing and just enjoy discussions, not expect anything, just except for having good discussions in comparison because I've seen. I was born and raised in New Jersey. <laughs> the 1980s and 1990s. So I'm gonna just sound like a mom to you. You should wrap that up, you know. You should, uh, you should, you know, uh, use cleansing in that regard. You, should, you know, fine, I sound like a mom, that's fine, it is what it is. Fine, no, that's fine, I'm just, you know, I just grew up where I did. It's just safety and security, whatever, you know, it is what it is as far as, you know, um, 
preventative medicine, literally. And so, you know, I'm just gonna walk around, you know, is as it is, I'm just gonna go over here. That's fine, I'll have this discussion and all that, but remember, I am a biological female, that's fine. Mm-hmm, no, that's fine, I'll go over here and talk with whoever, because that's fine. Uh-huh, no, that, that's fine, I'll go and talk with who I talk with in comparison, because that's fine over there. That's, mm-hmm. And so, <laughs> it is as it is as far as that's concerned, where it's just, it is what it is. So, you know, fast forward as far as like 2013 through 2000. 14 regarding in, in the Oregon area, and it's like, yeah, well, that's a repetition right there, right? No, that's fine. Okay. No, that's fine. I'll just discuss with people. That's fine. Okay, cool. Cool. Can have discussions. That's fine. Uh, and then, you know, 2015 through 2018 more so, but a little into 2019, it's like, hmm, yeah, no, 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 I'll just go take care of this, because, you know, <laughs> that's what you consider enjoyment? Okay. So, <laughs> no, 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 because, I, I, because additionally, I'm just not a stereotypical female when it comes to the lifestyle. So I was born and raised in New Jersey. I grew up going around New Jersey. I grew up going to the five boroughs in New York City. I grew up going around New York State. I grew up going to Pittsburgh and Philadelphia and Pennsylvania, Lake Lancaster and stuff. So it's not the same to me. So while I understand for some people, that's what they do. I didn't grow up that way. And so re, or in a more official capacity compared to being a child and seeing stuff and then the knowledge of certain situations, it was one of those, well, I don't have a problem talking with people. This is another reason why I'm very adamant about an actual relationship in those capacities of. Just because I'm polyamorous doesn't translate to what some people think. Because my definition of polyamory is different from somebody else's definition of polyamory, which is different from somebody else's definition of polyamory by technicalities in a very different capacity. Okay, so if you take in consideration, I was invited to go to Marine and Science Technology School with the Navy attachment in a logical way that is a care and concern in regards of Marine overall, but also the Marines. Science, because overall, but obviously technology. Again, I grew up in New Jersey. Uh, and then <laughs> school, I'm a little bit about education. Then there's the Navy attachment. So you have that capacity, which automatically brings in the Coast Guard. That's technically polyamory by the definition of, in a non-sexualized way, by technicalities, that is what polyamory is. Remember, I took Greco-Roman Latin and I was excited to take Greco-Roman Latin. So then when you take in consideration, okay, I went into the army. Well, what came out of the army? The Air Force, as far as the historical aspect. So by in the Greco-Roman Latin definition translation to English, polyamory, just in that particular capacity, there's five branches by technicalities. In the comparative aspect where other people, where their thought processes as to whatever their assumptions are, instead of how I actually view things, 
Again, despite the fact that I had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, despite the fact that I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain that took eight and a half years to dissipate, despite the fact I deal with daily headaches, despite the fact I deal with weekly migraines, despite the fact that I have memory deficits, despite the fact that I have cognitive disorders, last I checked, Despite the fact that I went from college algebra with trigonometry and calculus to second grade math, I'm fairly certain that that is a different portion of the brain that has absolutely nothing to do with linguistics. I'm fairly certain. However, because however certain people view their opinion in comparison to facts and truth, it is as it is. Two and a half years of Greco-Roman Latin that I was excited to take. I also grew up going to Old Tenet Presbyterian Church as well as other locations, knew plenty of people, and obviously there's Hebrews. There were plenty of people who went to Catholic Church. Well, some of the people who went to CCD went to churches where it was actually spoken in Latin for some of the services. Not the, some had the entire service in Latin. Some had it in Italian. I mean, it is New Jersey. And so are you in Latin? Is, has five languages, and Italian is one of them that comes out of Latin. And so individuals in regards of maybe it's my misunderstanding as far as, however, I haven't been capable to understand how other people could be informed that I took Greco-Roman Latin and not understand, though they've needed to, as well as accept the fact that I am not the same type of polyamorous individual that others are. And when it comes to actual relationships, because there are different types of relationships, so there's relationships that are acquaintances. That's one type of a relationship. There is a relationship in reference to friendships. That's a different type of relationship. There are relationships in reference to to family, well, that's different types of relationships. And then there's romantic relationships, which are obviously a different type of relationship. So in reference to this lecture, in comparison to discussions, because that would require actual discussions with etiquette and respect in comparison to assumptions, there are those factors. So maybe in the hypotheticals, some individuals, whether in reference to what is considered or it's supposed to be considered the adult consenting lifestyle. Well, if it was a bunch of females who had a problem, as I was informed regarding me wearing my outfits as I did, or if it was males who threw little temper tantrums because they weren't getting anywhere because it actually required a certain level of actual discussion, well, I'm going to reiterate, going back to the reference point of the Jungian aspects in regards of the technological development when it comes to the language of actually speaking with in comparison to the laziness of going from the rotary phone to the little uh, screen type. And those references regarding discussions in a satirical-ish sort of way. And so while some people might think, however they think, in comparison, common sense would obviously explain otherwise, which I did. So if in those regards, whether it's what is supposed to be considered an adult consenting lifestyle, which that would require 
my consent and if you don't actually speak with me and ask me in a discussion with etiquette and respect and there's an actual discussion in comparison to expecting or thinking that you have a right to something that you don't have a right to because my body my choice then there's that because just because you may have looked at my modeling pictures just because I may have been at a performance that you had seen or maybe online as far as what in that capacity that does not automatically translate to anything other than that's what you saw and that's it. So in reference to what is supposed to be considered the adult consenting lifestyle, I have protocols. I have minimum standards. I am a leather dominant. I know how I particularly prefer. And if in those hypotheticals, though the proof thereof, if you do not have a discussion with me in truth, with etiquette and respect, well then guess what? I'm gonna go and talk with somebody else. I'll have whatever discussion I so choose to have. And if whatever relationship capacity of, whether acquaintance relationship, friendship relationship, family relationship, or romantic relationship, whatever capacity in and thereof, that is up to the individual and I in comparison. Then there is the reference to the civilian recreational scuba divers because I earned my 26 scuba diving certifications. I was not dating a scuba diver when I began scuba diving and there is not one scuba diving certification I personally earned where I was dating any scuba diver. Each and every one of my scuba diving certifications, I was not dating anybody. There was no scuba diver that I was dating when I earned my 26 scuba diving certifications. So in regards of my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, all the way to 26 scuba diving certifications that I earned, I was not dating anybody. In a different reference regarding my second scuba dive certification, which would be dry suit, just because he and I were out at Clear Spring Scuba Dive Park together on our own, that was not a date. Last I checked, I don't know what civilian recreational scuba divers think, as far as that's concerned, if you think that going and scuba diving is considered a date, but you don't actually discuss it with the individual, especially in the fact that during 2009, I was earning my 26 scuba diving certifications. I wasn't dating anybody. It's kind of a thing. I don't know how people are when it comes to their scuba diving, when it comes to my scuba diving at that time, my scuba diving was exactly that. Each certification I earned on my own. Can I acknowledge that I found my instructor attractive? Absolutely. Without a shadow of a doubt. However, I was earning my education. That's what the facts are. And so it's kind of a big deal in that reference because I am a smidgen independent, especially when you take in consideration I earned 26 scuba diving certifications as an unattached female. So for those in what's supposed to be the consenting adult lifestyle that understand that specifically in the swinger area, I earned 26 scuba diving certifications as an unattached female scuba diver. 
each and every one of my scuba diving certifications that I earned, I was an unattached female scuba diver per class, per scuba dive, per 26 scuba diving certification when it came to scuba divers. There is not one scuba diving certification where I was involved with another scuba diver at all. So again, fine, I found him attractive. That doesn't translate to a relationship. Not to me, not with the way I am. I'm very particular as far as that's concerned. And if there is not that discussion, at the very minimum, you know, with actual words, in person, face to face, in person, as far as an actual discussion, where there's audible words, where the words discussed between, just because in the water, there is sign language. When you are on land, you have to be capable to actually communicate. And nobody informed me in regards of if there were any issues. He had been my scuba dive instructor for a few certifications, as far as that's concerned. And so I don't know how other people in regards of that go, I have no idea. But if that's how some people date, I mean, I know what would be considered dating regarding my scuba dive certification classes. That's, that's not something that I'm, it's not the type of person I am. First and foremost, as far as my education is concerned, that's, that's first and foremost. Second, um, then there's the facts that um, I have requirements and protocol by a lot. And so if, in regards of, because I had earned all of my scuba diving certifications through International Scuba. If in those references, that was something that was done as some sort of game, where was any consent? Because the answer in this lecture is I didn't give any consent. To that. So if in regards of who I had been engaged to twice later, him not having been a scuba diver, is that a situation? Because at that point, why would anybody think that that would be acceptable? Just because other people get into scuba diving, if, if, if in reference to how I had dealt with things, if a male can get into scuba diving and not be in a relationship with another scuba diver, why would it be a problem for a female to get into scuba diving and not be in a relationship with another scuba diver. I don't understand why that ever would be a problem, especially with my work regarding my type of scuba diving. So if in that reference of what would be considered abusive, just so it's understood. Because if it were to be where the reference as to the second portion of cat's eye 
because it's my right to choose who I'm involved with or not as to a relationship, whether in the acquaintanceship relationship, whether in the friendship relationship, whether in the family relationship and or in a romantic dating relationship. That's my choice. That's nobody's choice except mine. For clarification. And any needless problems would officially translate, especially not only to the lack of responsibility and lack of maturity, as well as lack of etiquette and lack of respect, because that's what that would translate to in regards of any male and or female that would try to have that as a mandate. Who are you to vote as a Democrat when I knew you in 2009 and ever think that that would be considered acceptable? How dare you, if you are a female, to ever consider yourself as a feminist, because then that translates obviously fully to feminazi, and in reference to males, that obviously shows the machismo. Additionally, because of the difference between female numbers to male numbers, then there's that factor. Because what is the consideration regarding that? Because if a male registers with different names per female in comparison to just one name, then there's really not as many males in scuba diving as there are females in scuba diving. Now, would there be? That would be common sense especially in the civilian recreational area. Because how important would it be to have an accurate counting for? So since uh, there's not the legal government identification card checks when initially filing paperwork in certain references unless you travel overseas or to another country to go scuba diving if you only go scuba diving within the united states of america it wouldn't it be prudent as well as important to actually have a government identification check in reference to scuba diving. Because if you want to be capable to vote and support voter identification laws, how important would that be? So if that was a needless problem, how do you end all types of stolen valor? You make sure you do it correctly and accurately. Because how lazy would it be? Which you can see in scuba diving technology. Now, can't you? What's the difference between scuba dive gear from the 1940s and 1950s compared to scuba dive gear now? I know in the year of 2009, they weren't using the J and K valve. I know they were trying to convince me that Bluetooth was gonna be considered safer, which I disagreed with because you're transmitting radio frequencies in the water. Don't claim that you care about the oceanic water if you're going to use Bluetooth technology in the water. 
you can already see on land just as simple regarding the solar panels for certain situations and locations of. You wonder why the oceanic waters have the coral reef reduction? Partially because of those types of people who prefer that lazy Bluetooth type of technology in comparison to accurately making sure their scuba dive gear is properly maintained and sustained. Secondarily, in those references, the amount of females and males who utilize bleach in their hair and then go near coral reefs for the examples of just for two. Then there's all those males and females, but especially males, who utilize different skin aspects when that's not for them. And that impacts the oceanic water. And then obviously, well, who would be the laziest when it comes to that? Huh, ladies? In those references? Then the, I suppose this is my mix up, I suppose, and the scuba diver, civilian recreational aspect. Well, I earned my 26 scuba diving certifications on my own, being an unattached female. But what male at that time, even if I was interested, what male didn't have a female that had gotten into scuba diving because of another male. And then those particular types of situations in comparison to my type of scuba diving. So then you have the factors in reference to what's supposed to be considered the adult consenting lifestyle. And for those who don't scuba dive, just in this reference, you can ponder how in the civilian recreational scuba diving sector, how an unattached female is looked at by a couple, mainly though the female in the couple. That's pretty much what I dealt with when it came to scuba diving. For unattached males, you know how the male in a couple looks at you in that reference. So you have the understanding of what I dealt with when I was earning my 26 scuba diving certifications and doing my work without the assistance when it came to my scuba diving. Because my work well, it's my work. And so the proof of that, as I've already put forward, you know, removing all those shadow bands, because if you don't have the truth out there, then how would you get the truth? So you have to have the truth in order to actually learn. So it's great that there's E equals MC squared that removes those problems, hopefully across every forum. Because why would you ever think you could have a discussion or any communication? What type of needless problems, feminazism and machismo aspects would that translate to in every capacity of? There is no millennial type that is ever allowed to ever claim their wokeness aspects as actual wokeness. Because it's actually hypocritical to ever consider yourself woke as a millennial because you don't have the actual background and knowledge of. If you try to filter things because of your feelings or the equivalent of the Jungian version of those soft keyboards, 
compared to the typewriters for those references, that lets you know what lack of knowledge you have, what lack of experience you have, what lack of understanding you have, and what lack of a capability that you personally deny yourself from ever reaching anywhere close to fuller understanding. Because those types of millennials that start out with this, well, they don't know what it takes for actual work. So I'll give an example. Before my son and I wound up in Washington State after what occurred with my daughter, I had been asked to mentor these three little millennials. Erica, or Discordia, tried to claim certain things and I warned her I didn't want to deal with them because they just weren't worth the time. These three individuals who were going to UTSA, they were trust fund baby, silver spoon fed, Binky shoved in their mouths, whiny temper tantrum throwing, in my opinion, children. And so there was a situation at Mike and Patty's. There was a medical concern regarding the female with the curlier hair that was heavier in weight. The uh, tanner complexion female with the darker hair tried to get some understanding, but because of the Caucasian male who wanted to play needless drama games and stir up a bunch of needless drama, I wasn't tolerating it. They had been over to my townhouse at the time, and then there's Alicia and that particular set of needless problems in those capacities. So then fast forward, if I remember correctly, it was before the 4th of July or maybe a few weeks after the 4th of July, the female with the curly red hair went and fell. She refused to actually speak with me after I put her in her place because I told her it was her fault for not giving the medical background because she chose to hide the medical background from both the male and the female. That was her fault and she didn't like the fact that I called her out and made her take responsibility for her choices because she chose which is the absolute opposite of the way I am obviously when it comes to the medical factor that female complained and whined and when she started crying and I would not hold her, I would not comfort her, I would not do anything while she cried because I called her out and would not allow her tears to needlessly be as they were because she wanted to try, especially at the time frame of what I was dealing with in the year of 2012, she wanted to try to get me to feel sympathy for her tears because of her medical stuff, which she did not inform to the other two. And I informed her that was her responsibility. The fact that it was explained is what it is. She tried complaining, saying that the other female had informed the male. And I said, well, at the very minimum, the male was capable to get informed. I don't have sympathy for a female or a male who wants to try to hide that, especially after how many people I personally lost as far as the 1980s and 1990s in the state of New Jersey, in the city of New York, in the state of New York, in Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So if you take in consideration that similarity of that whiny, complaining, brat 
of a biological sister of mine and the high school situation where she had already had medical situations among other problems. She wanted to try to have my sympathy when I told her the exact same thing 12 years later to the curly red hair female Ginger. I had no sympathy for the lack of common sense. There is no, there is no cause, no excuse, and no reason to try to hide that. I don't care what your mommy and daddy told you. Other people have the right to consent by being informed. If you don't like it, that's your fault and your problem. Just the same as that red curly hair ginger female, no different to my biological sister. It doesn't matter. If you don't like it, why do you think there's so many medical research situations? If people actually took responsibility for their choices in comparison of wishing to swoop it under the rug, you wouldn't have so many different types of immunizations to take. Because if people actually took responsibility and actually were mature with respect and etiquette, while taking responsibility as far as whatever it is in those capacities of, 90% of the diseases and problems throughout the world would not be a problem as it is. But those types of people, you should be more ashamed of yourselves for that. If someone is informed and then makes a respectful response because it is their right to choose whether or not so I'll give another example. A temple of flesh, this female came up to me. She had her toolbox. Those are her tools though. Those who know me, especially in 2012, knew I had my own tools. Anybody who knows scuba diving, you only use what's yours. You don't ever use somebody else's stuff. Because if you're a responsible scuba diver, you don't use somebody else's gear. I understand and comprehend that BDSM is different. However, when it comes to my type being a leather dominant, you are not going to dictate to me what tools I use. And if you don't like it, then we don't have to play. So this female walks up to me with her little toolbox and tells me that she had what she had. Okay, well, hopefully there's a way to do this. And then in front of everybody, by the way, there was a whole group, we were outside in the smoking section and she tried to tell me she brought her tools. I saw that, okay, good for you. And then she tried, first time meeting her as well, by the way. Hadn't met her before. On top of that, did never speak with her before. If I did, I had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. Additionally, in 2012, it's one year after Irving, two years or three years after my scuba diving. I don't care about this female's problems especially with what I was dealing with as far as my daughter, my son, and I. Don't care that she decided to ask in front of everybody else and then got embarrassed because I said, no, I don't feel comfortable using your tools that I don't personally know and I don't want to know because she tried to convince me, well, you could just know because it takes me a while to get to know a tool. It's not something that you just go and pick up and it's no big deal. With my background, no. 
with my CD owners? No, because I'll tell you what will happen. And I told her this back in 2012. You give me something, I will hit you so hard with it that you wouldn't have known that anyone could strike you that hard. And I won't even be at a one for my strength. So keep that in mind. She threw a fit in the parking lot. There are about 10, 15 people outside that I was talking with, those who know how it was, back from 2009 through 2012 when I was out in the smoking section talking with people. Doesn't matter what city of the state of Texas, but this was in Temple of Flesh, outside in the smoking section, she ran inside went and cried to everybody, which all of those people can take in consideration how quick that was. That of, without a second thought, without any self-control or composure. Sure, only from the time frame of 2019 into 2020 and 2021 and this year 2022 have i actually allowed myself to go into that that lets you know the difference regarding self-control respect etiquette common courtesy as well as responsibility so despite how I physically looked, despite what I was dealing with, I obviously had the common sense back then in comparison to the individuals in whichever capacity of as to how their choices and their responses were. And again, in that reference in a different one regarding Austin, I, and there are plenty of people who have been at that event, I walked up quietly in the backyard, asked respectfully to speak with, I didn't even get to finish my question before that female flew off the handle. And oh, it's so whatever, you're so confrontational. I was more than six feet away from that female. So that lets you know of the needless drama that I have dealt with. If people wonder why I don't just randomly the way I used to, well, take a look at what I've dealt with. Because after everything I've dealt with, personally, in person, face-to-face, -face, in person, as well as online, what would make you think that I'd be willing how inviting would that be considered as? And then in regards of my Medal of Honor art project trips, what would make you think that that would be a good idea to go without asking me? Because then that's the exact same thing as those little millennial types that didn't have the common sense regarding at Mike and Patty's that two female, one male, I don't care what your mama and daddy let you do. I don't care. I'm not your mama. I'm damn sure not your daddy. And so I don't care about what your personal issues are. If you have no compassion regarding having known what I was dealing with at that time, that typical sort of over dramatic little trust fund baby sort of thing, I don't care what you do as far as my biological sister. I don't know if you haven't figured this out. We're two different people. I am me. My biological sister is her. Her choices are her choices. But then there's that. Because of those types of needless problems. If my biological sister had just stayed in Illinois and was forced to actually deal with the responsibilities of her choices back in Illinois in comparison to the garbage. That was the exact same thing in reference to having moved from New Jersey. Mike and Anna wouldn't have had the problems that they had. That's the facts. But then when you have those two actually showing Patricia to do that sort of garbage, you wonder, and yet you don't have to. There's this wall in most people's bathrooms that's behind the sink 
that they can look at, and this is irony, my biological father is the one who told me this, maybe he was self-projecting. When certain problems follow you around, go do certain things, maybe it's not everybody else. Maybe it's you. But what is it that you did? Was it good, bad, or indifferent? So in that particular reference regarding my biological mother, biological father, and biological sister, as far as my responses each and every time when I am not interested in half the garbage that they stir up needlessly because of how they have viewed that sort of stuff. Well, maybe they can go into a bathroom area, look at that wall behind that sink area, and be capable to see face to face in that mirror exactly who it is that I didn't want to deal with. And maybe when they look into their own eyes, they can think about why. Because my body, my choice, my right to choose. Irony of ironies of them being Democrats. Supposedly, but then again, maybe the democratic aspects above the Mason Dixon line were different for them compared to the democratic aspects below the Mason Dixon line. I don't know. I dealt with a bunch of situations at the very minimum above the Mason Dixon line. There were certain things that I didn't have to deal with though. When they decided to go to the state of Texas, there were certain factors. So modern times, but it's not funny, it's not satire, and it's not comedy, though there's always been that fact that there is truth behind every joke. And so, those types, those little millennial types, especially, that got all upset, especially in San Antonio in 2012, the amount of people who, well, you know, we could do this, you're not my type. Because those individuals who are in the lifestyle, most specifically leather, understand that there are just those facts so leather individuals and being a leather dominant female, I don't do things with millennial types because I know myself. And since I know myself, I know what I can do. And I know for a fact, while millennial types might think that just because they saw it on a movie, or just because they saw it on a TV show, or just because they read a book, or just because of whatever pop culture reference, including porn, that they thought is how things go. I know myself. And here's a huge difference between that hypothetical aspect See, this is what I warned people in Austin and DFW about the most. These three types are literally what I was making attempts to warn people in the DFW and Austin area. And they didn't understand. They thought I was talking about the TNGers, which I was not to the same level, but these specific types, these three, those types involved in the lifestyle, and hey, they should be happy though, if they liked the Fifty Shades of Grey, the male became a submissive, didn't he? So anyway, in that particular reference, these were the types that I warned of, or they had just seen things and read things and didn't ever think to really actually think. They assumed 
They thought that they were more special than they were because their mommy and daddy told them they were so much more special than the rest of the world. And yet, while they complained about how their mommy and daddy told them how special they were, how did they choose to treat people? Because those trust fund baby types that did as they chose, as people in 2013 onward would know how that went, those three, I know Mike and Patty and Alan would have to know as far as the female with the ladder and then the male in that reference and Alicia and Discordia or Erica would know in regards to the brunette female, although I think she got involved with Ken as far as that's concerned. That lets you know. I made attempts, multiple areas to warn about those types. That's exactly what I was referring to in reference to the millennials. Because there is a difference. That etiquette and respect is important and mandatory. It is not an option. It is mandatory. So in the military, you might not like an individual, but you respect their rank. You respect their stature. You respect what they earned on their own because that's how it is. Millennials haven't learned that. This is another warning I gave about those participation trophies where these three literally grew up with participation trophies. Because, you know, there are those types. What would it be for those three? I mean, sure, I didn't get any participation trophies. I just earned as I did on my own. What's the difference? By a lot. So those particular types that grow up with those participation trophies, they don't have, and they are just as empty as those participation trophies internally. They don't know how to actually earn on their own because all they know is the participation trophy. And with that symbolic aspect of those participation trophies, they are just as hollow inside as that participation trophy. Not just internally within, but intellectually as well. They don't have any common sense. And when they want someone to have feelings for them, they try to get someone who actually experienced real life situations to have feelings for them. In comparison. And then they don't understand why someone who has actual life experience won't have feelings for them. So what others didn't know in the year 2012, those three, after the mediation, those three complained for a while because I wouldn't do certain things. They had actually asked me to go to UTSA as well. And I said, no because I wasn't willing to deal with certain things at that time because I was in the middle of dealing with what was going on in reference to my daughter, my son and I. 
and when I wouldn't give them any leeway, the two females started to cry as the male tried to give puppy dog eyes, for those who know, and those who have known me in person, face to face in person, it don't matter where you knew me from. I mean, let's be honest on that. And, um, well, you would know how that went by the temper tantrums they threw and whatever hypothetical situations. So while the red, ginger, curly hair, light skinned female tried to cry and tell me that she thought I should pay attention to her feelings and how she felt this and she felt that and she felt this way and her feelings, her feelings, her feelings and her feelings. I'm going to guesstimate this probably is fairly similar to exactly how I looked the day and evening and other times she tried to get me to care about her feelings because she kept doing this weird thing. I feel this emotion right now. Okay. And then I feel that you should whatever. And I'm telling you, I'm not gonna. And then I feel that you're not listening to me. And I looked at her when she did this. I'm listening to you. I have that capacity. Why would you be speaking at me in this situation? You asked me to mediate. Why would you ever think I care about your feelings? This is not a situation about feelings. This is a situation about facts. If you want a situation about feelings, I can give you some feelings. However, um, you probably didn't grow up a certain way. So you don't want those feelings, I promise. And then she got all sad and then brought up how, don't you see my feelings? Why would I need to see your feelings? She actually asked me if her tears being shown were somehow, some way that I was supposed to see her feelings. No, that type of crying is a weakness because that type of crying isn't real emotion. It's just as empty as your participation trophies, just as empty as your brain. And you can't fix that little girl unless you actually educate yourself in the correct capacities. But that means you need to wake up and stop whining over needless drama. I told her that that day. And you need to understand, I feel like I don't know what it was because the three of them did this where they kept going I feel I feel I feel why are you doing this you know I'm just saying I can sarcastically refer <laughs> to other factors however the three of them it was a the male had some common sense when he wasn't dealing with certain things regarding the two females. The two females, however, well, I guess San Antonio would know as to those particular situations. So with all of the clarifications and verifications from my journal blog from the time of 2019 to now 2022, I'm gonna guesstimate might make a little bit more sense right about now. And so, you know, sure, um, some people may have whatever opinion they might have 
But that's it. That's an opinion. Facts are more important. So whatever your opinion is has to be based on the facts. So if you don't like something and you give your, your opinion and your opinion is based on the facts, then what does your opinion say about the facts? Because you can distinguish, not through a Jungian view, through a genuine, truthful psychological evaluation of the mental health levels, when it comes to your opinion, when you have the facts, well, what does your opinion stand for then? Because depending on the facts, as far as your opinion, what internally is it in those references? So, coming back around, that video and those three, as far as that's concerned, in that capacity for a satirical viewpoint, my internal thoughts about those three situations after the two females tried going on about their feelings was about as enjoyable as that female's face that went like that. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was that metaphor for you. <laughs> I have given the warning sometimes I suppose I have to wear a little bit of a dress or a gown because you know when I wear pants my internal penis I guess is what it's called because you know being born a biological female I've, I've dealt with some stuff like the ocean and so you know internally you have to have that, you know, gerar, and so that's my only words, because I was born and raised in New Jersey. <laughs> and so having grown up with a bunch of Tom, well, males, and so being a tomboy, when they would say, yeah, well, I got a big dick, and da 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 well, I have a huge internal penis then. <laughs> That was, that was actually where that stems from, back from my childhood. So some of the guys, especially some of the middle schoolers and high schoolers when I was in kindergarten, and they're like, my dick is so big and rah, rah, rah. My internal penis is huge. <laughs> I'm rawr. You know, no. <laughs> and these guys, they were like, yeah. You know what? I saw how you handled that. Yeah, fine. Yeah, you know what? You do. You got big balls, little girl. <laughs> I can do. I do. I do. <laughs> I'm so big. You don't know. <laughs> As they looked down at me because I was, you know, in elementary school. Yeah, you're so big. You're so whatever. Yes, I am. I'm so huge. <laughs> Rock. <laughs> You go get him, tiger. <laughs> you know, with my pigtails. Mm -hmm. So intimidating. You know, <laughs> you know, with the, what was it? The, the light up shoes. For those who know, the little sneakers with the light ups and stuff like that. And the tube socks with the, the uh, stirrup pants. And then the, the shirt, you know, because that was the style back then. Yeah, so whatever. This is it. <laughs> and so, you know, the middle schoolers and high schoolers just, yeah, you go gam, you go gam, girls. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Which was funny because sometimes we play football and so some of the guys so we'd go out to 
there was a clearing area in the forest before it became the development. And so some of the guys um, the, in the neighborhood, we kind of would just go out there and stuff like that. And Timothy across the street and some of the other ones, we kind of went all together and stuff. And we, it, it was not a football field size area. They just, all right. Go. And so the guys, you know, randomly, a few of them would come in and, you know, we, we got this guy, he's a friend, and being the only female. Oh, aren't you cute? <laughs> Gary Nuggies. And every one of them. Um, you don't do that to her. <laughs> you don't do that to that one. Because... Instantly, I was like, oh, anyway. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to take you out. And so one of the guys was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I totally will. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I did. I did. <clears throat> so, uh, at one of these times, you know, I get the ball and the guys were, they were being kind, admittedly. This guy was not, and so he was taller than me. That was short. <laughs> he, you know, because you know the football stance, and so he's like this. <laughs> I wrote about what my son did in San Antonio as an example, except I ran through. And uh, <laughs> he fell over. Something happened when I ran through. I don't know, maybe it was the noogie that I gave backwards. I don't know, because you know, I kind of just stood up and they kept running. <laughs> he fell over and his, he was all like this. I don't know. <laughs> so since then I've joked that I'm a dickhead. And so <laughs> I could just joke. I thought it was funny, but you know. Some of the guys that day thought it was funny. Some of the other guys were like, that was mean, Susan. That was so mean. <laughs> I thought I could be I told them I could prove I could be meaner if I had to. So, you know, <laughs> maybe there's an example where <laughs> probably wasn't the meanest thing I've said <laughs> or done, I don't know. And so, but those, that situation and that reference, uh, 2012, they were as they were, and it was as it was, which didn't seem any different than back in the backyard of my house in San Antonio regarding after that phone call and voicemail message to Adam's parents in San Antonio after my biological sister had gone over to the bridge loan house that my biological mother and biological father bought and you know, they were at my house, in my backyard, that um, hairspray situation where the little skunk hair boy had this little temper tantrum because he was being a child on my property and trying to cause damage. And so I defended this and so he was upset, which I didn't care because Apparently, he needed to be edumacated, but that was not considered acceptable in any capacity as far as what he had done. And so he tried to get my sympathy. My biological sister tried to get my sympathy. And it was one of those, when you understand that you did as you did, you will accept responsibility for the choices you made. One way or another, you will accept responsibility for that. And it was as it was. Uh, you can go to my website, www.seasonmelane.com. And in the book section, 
That would be finding a silver lining and finding the silver lining. But there's also my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, on my website, www.susanmealing.com. And so make sure, you know, I don't know, it almost seems like that boy might be similar to the reference of Hunter Biden in certain capacities because of his attitude for a metaphor. I'm not certain. But anyway, um, make sure to like my official YouTube video and subscribe to my official YouTube channel as well as if you're going to leave a comment on any of my official YouTube videos, please do make sure to have etiquette and respect. You know, and uh, also make sure to subscribe and share my official YouTube video links because that's the only way that you don't steal valor. You need to make sure you give credit where credit's due, especially now. It's so important. Something to think about, each and every one of you. Have a great day.